All right, guys, I got this new gas pedal here for my uh, for my 15 Silverado. And this is an updated part number, so I'm just trying to see if this is going to take out that little bit of delay when you push the pedal. It seems like the pedal just doesn't send the signal fast enough once you press it, once you press it down. So hopefully this new accelerator pedal will do the trick. I'm going to take the Vitesse controller off first, and then I'm going to put it back on, because the Vitesse controller actually works pretty well. It just ramps up the signal but the delay is still there so when I press the pedal maybe a quarter of an inch or something like that it doesn't do anything for a set like maybe half a second two seconds and then it immediately jumps to that kind of throttle so it's not really desirable because it just kind of goes from nothing to full blast so we'll see if this can get that response to come on a little bit more linearly and um, see if it helps with the shifting and things all right so here's the part <laughs> Looks just like the other ones. It's got a nice uh, Hecho and Mexico kind of sticker on it on it. But uh, let's see. Let's see if this works. I think there's just two 10 millimeter bolts at the top and the bottom. Take off the harness. And you'll see down here I still have the uh, Vitesse controller. I'm going to use that guy as kind of like a potentiometer to just, I mean, read the voltages that come off the new pedal and see if uh, I can tell on top there if there's any delay or not. Because when you're doing the setup procedure on that Vitesse, it, you can see the... Um, voltage range of the resting pedal and the fully depressed pedal and I'm not sure how fast the response actually shows up on there but we're gonna see if it, uh, it makes any difference between these two all right so you can see on here it says L04 0.4 this is the calibration procedure for the Vitesse so when you see how I press the pedal see how the it changes the voltage on top there so let's see it's kind of hard to tell how accurate it responds because it blinks like that so I'm, I, I can't tell about the delay, you know, but it looks like it's responding relatively quickly, you know. So I think fully depressed is 2.1 volts and off is 0 0.4 on this particular pedal. So I can't really tell the delay. It seems to be responding really quickly on top here so you can see it. But when you're actually pressing the pedal, it takes like one, two, and then it goes. Um, I don't like that. So let's see if we can swap this pedal out, see if it changes anything on the volt. All right, so here, I got it out. Um, the one on the right is the old pedal. And uh, let's see if I can get it to focus on here. That's the old pedal part number. And here's the new one. They're, the pedals are dimensionally identical as far as I can tell. And um, the two bolts on top here are pretty easy to get off, but you can, look at this. These things are tons of threads. So get out your power tool. Don't even bother using the ratchet. It was kind of hard to reach up and get the, the top one. I had to use a kind of stubby extension because that one is uh, too long. And it was causing, you can see that AC vent over there that that feeds your the, the feet. That guy was uh, blocking the use of the long extension. And you can see here that, that kind of rusty, surface rusty thing. That's that steel box that the pedal's attached to. And a lot of people shim the bottom part um, to keep it from flexing. But my bracket doesn't flex at all. So putting a shim down there doesn't do anything at all. Okay, right, so we got the new pedal installed here. And after I took the old pedal out, the bracket kind of flex now. So I'm gonna have to shim underneath uh, the pedal because it flexes just like ever so slightly. Um, but initially when I looked at it, it didn't flex at all and I was messing with the pedal, but after I unbolted it, now it flexes. So anyway, I'm gonna, and over here, it's the same thing, same deal. All the way down is 2.1, 0 0.4 at rest. I really can't notice any uh notice any difference here it does seem like it might it just may be a, a, a feeling but you know when you press it down it seems to get up uh to a higher voltage a little bit faster Let's see this is like halfway but it takes a really long like push really long press to get it all the way up to that the maximum voltage there but we'll see all right, sorry I got my shoe off. I'm trying to get a better feel on the pedal, but this is with SP0. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah, actually, uh, the acceleration is definitely better. Already. It just seems to respond just like a fraction of a second quicker, but that small amount of difference is uh, actually hugely noticeable when you're pressing the gas, so. Let's try that again. 
we come to a complete stop here. Okay. Oh yeah, instantly. Once I, I think once I shim that thing, it should be uh, good to go. All right, let me try crank this thing up back up to SP5 where it was. It still, it still kind of does that that hurried shift kind of thing where it, it just kind of. It, it wants a downshift, but it just doesn't do it fast enough, and it's trying to find the right gear, but let's crank it up now. Let's put this bad boy on five and see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, now she's peppy. All right. That's definitely not a placebo effect. It's, um, it's definitely responding quicker. It's not, it's not instant, you know, like a, like a cable driven throttle, like a, like an older style throttle where you just feel it snap quick, but it's definitely better than it was before. That is like a extremely slow truck, you know, it just feels lethargic and it feels like it's bogging down and it feels like the transmission just spinning and just trying to figure out what gear it wants to be in. But now it's a, it's, it's probably like 95% better now. See, well, yeah, actually on SP5, it, it's kind of a little bit too much. Um, it's really touchy. So anyway, I'm going to take this thing for a little bit more of a drive. And uh, I don't know if the computer needs to calibrate to it, you know, because sometimes when you pull out the battery, it kind of relearns your driving and whatnot. But wow, this thing's way better already. I just grabbed this pedal off Amazon for around 40 bucks. Uh, I think it's usually maybe like 65 or something like that if you buy it from from GM or your dealership or one of the online parts places, but oh yeah, this is much better. It doesn't feel as good as my 09, which which really feels like that thing feels snappy compared to this one, but this is huge improvement. Huge, oh yeah, broke the tires loose. It never does that, wow. All right guys, so some final thoughts on that new pedal. See my, uh, I got the Vitesse set on SP3 now because it's really responsive. It's really easy to break the tires loose if you just kind of step on it a little bit too hard. So if you guys are, are running in some kind of low traction environment like the snow, uh, this is probably not advised. You, you're probably gonna have to turn on a four wheel drive or something if that's the case because you're gonna be spinning wheels. Uh, I still got mine in two wheel drive because it just uh, gets slightly better mileage, maybe like one MPG different than if I run it in auto. But um, so far, SP3 seems like it's going to be a winner. I still have to shim that pedal, but SP3 is fine. SP5 seems like if I just step on the step on that pedal a little bit, it just chirps the tires. So not bad. So all you Sierra guys, all you Silverado guys, 14 and 15s that don't have this updated pedal, it's it's worth the 40 bucks. It's I'd rather have spent the 40 bucks on that pedal than the 180 bucks in this throttle controller, but together, actually, they work really good. Now my truck feels like it has the appropriate amount of power, but I'm sure my mileage is going to suffer now.